how's it going? If you're new to the channel, I'm Aaron Hallett. I write original Christian rock. I'm just getting tuned up here. I came out this afternoon. I came up with an well, I came up with a riff right away. Um, but if you're watching the channel, what I do is I just write original Christian rock, like I said. So I just make the videos to show you how I do that. I just come up with stuff that I improvise and start piecing it together. The only thing I really do is I typically start with the guitar, layer that, go to bass, drums, vocals in that order. And I'll have a song structure, which is A, B, repeat three times. Really easy stuff. That just at least gets me going. I'll change it per song if need be. Other than that, it's a lot of improv. So, came up with this riff. Probably just gonna do that a couple times. That'll be a verse. Um, I don't even have a chorus part yet, so I actually have to come up with it right now. <laughs> That might work. Okay, I'll go with that. So, key change in the chorus. E minor to E major. Um, I'll just feel that how long I want to play this for. I might do guitar, bass, drums, and then not do vocals. I've been wearing my headphones, my wireless, like, earbuds too much, like, just around listening to stuff and then at the gym. And I think I'm starting to get an ear infection. So, I want to not wear headphones. <laughs> um... Typically, if I even, like, notice something like that, I'll just, like, not wear headphones for a little bit. It'll go away. Fine. So I just got to be smart about it. These probably won't give me a problem as I drop something. Okay, I just dropped a capo. No big deal. Yeah, let's do this. Left guitar, right guitar. You're going to hear a drum loop. That's there just keeping time. It's a glorified metronome until I play a part. But here we go. On the right side, I spontaneously just decided to harmonize, so that's what I did. I'm going to do lead parts now, so I'm going to do a left and a right lead. I kind of have an idea for the uh, left side, at least. I'm probably just going to go like... Just right over the whole chorus. I'm probably not going to do anything in the verse. And then the right side, I'll either harmonize this or harmonize the chords or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to hit record and start playing stuff. I'm going to improvise a guitar solo now, so I have to do E minor. It's actually E Phrygian. It's a modal thing because I got the F natural there, but E Phrygian into E major. So as long as I just remember to switch, I should be fine. <laughs> um, after doing that, I just put a phaser and delay slightly different ones, but on the lead guitars and then on uh, the uh, guitar solo, just to make it sound a little more textured. Anyway, I'm going to do bass guitar. That's bass guitar. So I'll improvise this. The drums are turned on, the metronome is on, the, the loop you've been hearing is deleted. I'm gonna be triggering the same sounds in Superior Drummer 3, but I'm actually playing the part now. All right, um, I think I am gonna sing I had the headphones on. It didn't even occur to me earlier, but I had the f headphones on when I was drumming. They seem fine. They're like over the ear ones and putting them over the hat even helps. Um, I just went in the house, just, you know, empty the bladder sort of stuff. But I did a improv scratch track to come up with a basic idea. I don't have much, but it's enough. So 
I talked, texted some lyrics in on the way into the house and back. Yeah, so I'm going to mute this, make a new track. There we go. Um, I'm going to hit record and just kind of hope I get this. I just finished that. I did a couple tries because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in the verse at all. So I ended up three or four in and I got it. So works out. I'm pretty sure I sang the second chorus completely different and the third one may or may not be the same. So I'm not sure because it's improv. So I think I'm going to not do harmonies because it's just going to be a giant pain in the butt to line that up. So I'm not even going to try. That's done though. I think it'll sound good. So, okay, good. That's done. Get my headphones off here. Turn these back up. Um, I got that done pretty quickly too. So I don't think I like hurt anything as far as, you know, this and headphones seemed fine. Yeah. I think it sounds good. Works out. I already said that, but yeah. <laughs> the lyrics are going to be in the description box, so you can check those out. They're towards the bottom. The middle of the description box is going to have where you can purchase and stream my music. So I got stuff like my YouTube topic page where you can go and stream music on YouTube. And then I also just have a list of iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, and a bunch of others. No links, but if you just go to the service you use, type my name in the search bar. The same as the YouTube channel, Aaron Hallett. You should be able to find me. And the very top link I have is PastorMelissaScott.com. I just have that there because I said earlier, this is Christian rock, and I put what I think is the best Bible teaching I know of. So it's just there if you want to check it out. So feel free. I'll say that Pastor Melissa Scott, who pastors Faith Center in Glendale, California, fantastic teaching. Just fantastic. Her late husband and her both have 50 years, nearly 50 years combined, fantastic teaching. So they play his stuff on the website. They play her stuff on the website. There's a combined stream. Then there's just a bunch of study notes, information. They do all kinds of cool stuff like translate from the original languages. Yeah, if you pick up an English version of the Bible, it's technically translated from the original language. But the thing is, English is kind of vague compared to, say, New Testament Greek. So you lose a little bit. The transmission's not exactly perfect. So they go to the trouble of translating to directly and kind of showing you all facets just to show you exactly what's being said. Unlike most places that have any kind of under, uh, under <laughs> other agenda besides just teaching the Bible, this place, well, it's only Bible teaching from the Bible without any agenda other than what does this text exactly say or what were the writers intending? And that's pretty much it. So they do teaching from there. It's all faith-based because faith is the only way you can please God. Faith specifically in Jesus Christ that he died on that cross us to atone for us and he paid for everybody on there so all fall short no one is sinless except for jesus so you look to him in faith god imputes his righteousness onto you for that faith because faith is the quality god is looking for he paid for everyone so he can say this is what i want faith that's it they're teaching that it's great stuff i can't say enough about it so anyway links there check it out if you want to as far as my stuff if you subscribe, like, comment, share, that sort of thing, you can check out my playlists and all the fun YouTube stuff. You'll just see a whole lot of my music here, a whole lot of my music, actually. And, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. The song's coming up right now so you can see the final product. Until the next one, bye.